Hello, this video is for Tuesday, the 14th of December. Today we'll run through some Australian stocks in no particular order. We'll look at the Australian 200 or the ASX 200 index. Uh, just, for, uh, just for a second, you'll notice I've got a couple of uh, black horizontal lines there at 7200 and 7400. You know, it just so happens right now, again, we've seen the index rally off this key level at 7200 and sure enough it has dropped below that a little bit and then rally back up and then back and forth and a doji representing indecision and then a strong rally back up hitting that level at the low and bouncing off but then it's come back up to this other level at 7400 and you can see now for five days belted its head up against that black line it stopped here, it traded through a bit of classic reversal signal here, great pin bar where we have a long shadow to the top and a small body down here, opened here and just got a little bit high, but again being sold off and down, a bit more indecision, got here and closed right at that level again at 7,400. Just reinforces how significant these levels are and the fact that you know enough people do watch these levels and monitor them. And if enough people do it and act upon those, then we do see demand and supply in the sort of the top 20 stocks, top 50, top 200 that then, of course, influences what the index does. And you do see them bouncing off these key levels. But just right now, again, you know, for the last week, it's sort of belted up against that 7,400 level and been unable to break through. What a few stocks to run through in no particular order. We'll start with Eltium, which has just reached a new all-time high. Uh, you can see where here is the pandemic announcement where it's dropped uh, almost halved in price from right around $42. And it's just so happened to have got back to that level recently. So I might just draw in a line there right at $42 or thereabouts. I think that's pretty close to the mark, 42 on the dot. So you can see where it's broken through, but then come back and had another. So right now it's really just trading around that level, as you can see for the last three weeks or so. But the significance, of course, being the fact that that's where it got before it dropped sharply. Pandemic announcement finally got back through there, just poked its head up for an all-time high um, in the last day. The interesting thing is now, will it now find a bit more support at that $42, $42 level? Will it just come back and bounce off that level and potentially continue to move higher? It's obviously moved very well just over the last uh, month or two, but it's got back up to that level and just really... Uh, paused a little bit, lost that momentum. So it'll be interesting to see if it actually just keep pushing high, maybe come back and retest 42 and continue higher yet again. Another one is Charter Hall Group. This also has achieved a new all-time high. Here's the pandemic announcement back here. You know, massive fall, uh, almost, or in fact, it did more than half in price, regained that quite quickly, and since then it's just continued to move higher. So back here we're at 14-ish, and now we're, you know, 50% higher than that now, right at $21. So just a really nice break here, pushing, you know, what does it do now? Does it continue to move higher? Perhaps we get a bit of selling, come back to this sort of, what's that, 1550 level, uh, excuse me, 1950 level, maybe 19 through here, providing a bit of resistance here, you know, trading around that $19 level. You know, maybe it comes back and retests that $19 level, or in fact, of course, it just continues uh, to move higher, but certainly moving very strongly uh, in any event. Next one is Pilbara Minerals, which also has just achieved a new all-time high. So just getting some, this has just been on an extraordinary run. You can see, you know, even just 12 months ago, trading down near 40 cents, uh, 60, 80, and then it's just continued to move higher and higher. More recently, we've seen it sort of just hit some resistance right here. It's sort of right around that 260 level, a little bit higher than this 250 resistance back here, but got up to 260, bouncing up against that, unable to move through, and then finally had another run here, and then finally a really strong break through that level. So again, what happens from now? Do we see just a little bit of a, a retracement, finding a bit of support at that 260 level and potentially beginning a new range higher? It's certainly doing all the right things and moving very, very well. Next is Sonic Healthcare. Also pushing a little bit higher. This also has had a very, very good run. So just zooming in a little bit. Again, if I was to put a line right around this level here, right at around $44, uh, almost on the dot there. So meeting that level 44. Now, of course, at that time, we don't know it's resistance. But when it starts to move away and continue to fall lower, we, we look back at it and go, well, that's 
clearly a turning point that may be revisited at some time in the future. And sure enough, that's happened just two months later when it's made a push for there, got through that level but been sold off again, gapped up on open and sold back to that level. So it is certainly just having a bit of a think about that level at $44, whether in fact it continues lower and just falls away and that resistance stands tall and we see it, you know, putting a lot of downward pressure on prices, or in fact it does get through that level, rally, sorry, retrace a little bit, find a bit of support there at 44 and potentially begin a new range and continue to move higher. I'm more inclined to think it might be something like this range through here, which went for several, several months, in fact, almost a year. Uh, where it's moved up to a level, fallen away, got back up to that level, fallen away, back up again, you know, down, back up, finally breaking through. We could be seeing the, just the halfway point of something similar to that maybe happening right now. That's why I do like waiting for confirmation, waiting for that clear break, waiting for that, you know, pushing through, retesting level, and then continuing to move higher. Uh, sorry, that's not the stock I wanted. I wanted ALS. Uh, this came up in another scan I did uh, for long trades. But the interesting thing about this particular stock is that $13 level. So even though it's just made a nice little reversal here and, and beginning a short-term uptrend, whilst it's doing that, it's getting back up to this key level again at $13, which clearly has played a very significant role in the price action uh, of this particular stock. Getting up to this level, falling away. Look, look how many times is traded right underneath that level, remaining very, very close and just failing to get through. We finally push through, come down and retest, but we're unable to push through this previous peak, get sold off very strongly. So whilst it's, you know, reversed and started to push up a little bit higher, I'm very mindful of this $13 level. I'm certainly mindful of back up here at $13.80, $14, where previously it's been unable to push through there. So yes, it's been a nice little short-term uptrend here, but I'm probably more concerned about this sort of congestion up here at 1380 and needing for it to break through that level before I'd even consider a long trade, that is for sure. Uh, seen this stock before, Insurance Australia, and we've identified these two black lines, support and resistance, certainly having an influence over price action now, uh, what, for more than 12 months. And what we've seen just recently is hitting that lower level support level. Yes, it did drop through, but it very quickly got bought back up. But just in the last two weeks, we're just, you know, been unable to rally back up to this previous high and we're trading right around it. And then we just see this little sell off here. So I'd be keeping an eye on this, that if this was able to rally back up to that $4.40 level, but unable to break through and then get sold off again and then breaks through the low of this particular day, then you could easily see that just continuing to decline even further below that $4.40 level. Another one is Poly Novo. I'll just zoom in a little bit, doesn't have a huge amount of history, but you can see interestingly enough, so here's the pandemic announcement and the massive drop that that's gone through, what, from 340 down to $1.40 or so, so clearly you know, more than a 50% fall there, been able to rally back up and then continue to move higher. And what we're seeing right now is as strongly as it's fallen over the last six, seven months or so, it's right back to that low, right around here at $1.40. It's sitting on that level now. And if enough people watch that, we'll just put in a line right around. Let's put in a dollar forty there. It's a little bit lower than that there, but we're right back at that level now. I'll probably push that down to a dollar thirty-five. But we're at that level now, and it's just testing that level. So it's interesting to see, you know, does it rally back up and return to the, some of these previous highs? Maybe it will stay on this level now for a little bit, you know, a few weeks. But if it does push lower, retest, find some resistance there, and continue to move lower, then it's certainly looking to move. Uh, lower yet, you know, and continue to move lower. Stock we've looked at previously, you know, looking right at sort of 90 cents as being a pretty significant low, as strongly as it's fallen over the last few years. Um, you know, we're at all-time lows here, and we've seen this 90 cent level, you know, provide a lot of support, come back, and we're finding a lot of support at that level right now. So does that 90 cent level continue to prop it up and keep pushing it up? Or again, you know, does it fall through that, rally back up, find some resistance and continue to move lower again? Even though this is, this is at 90 cents, remember a 90 cent stock can still lose 100% of its value. Another one is Magellan Financial. We've looked at this as well. So again, pandemic announcement, uh, found a lot of support there. Come back to this level again, right around that 
$30 level, but we're just starting to move lower through that. Um, probably just draw that in there for you. Right around $30 was the previous low back here, and we're just pushing through that now. So do we rally back up, find some resistance there, and then potentially you know, continue to move lower? And the last one for today is uh, Regis Resources. And we've looked at this on multiple occasions, you know, really strongly moving lower and just continues to, you know, just drift a little bit lower. Bit of a rally here, potentially just only back up to $1.85, $1.90, where these troughs here, these low points, potentially come up to that level maybe. If it rolls over again, then we can easily see it continuing to move lower, that's for sure. Well, that's it for today, Tuesday the 14th of December. Hope that's been of some value to you, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.